The um, Wargraves program, it's, what it's about is to honour those veterans, male and female, the Indigenous veterans, because of the way they were treated um, during that time of all conflicts. They um, uh, volunteered to go away and fight for a company that had no rights, um, yet they still volunteered. And that was one of the reasons why I was to honour those members who'd served and also for the families as a closure. The thing was, those guys back then and the women, they weren't afforded the same rights and that as their counterparts they went away and fought with. And many of them never even received the medals they were entitled to. Many of them couldn't even march. There were a few that were able to march on Anzac Day because their mates were the white guys who they'd served with and then they said, no, you're marching with us. But that wasn't that many, but there was a few who were lucky enough. The RSL of the day wouldn't even recognise them as diggers, even though some of these men served and led men into battle. To come home and the government and the RSL of the day wouldn't even recognise them as even being served. You're probably looking at somewhere in the vicinity of between four and 500, maybe a few more. It's, we'll never know the full answer because many of them uh, joined us put the names down as not having any Aboriginal heritage. There's one bloke we've got to do a headstone for at Sandstone. Um, well, his name is Bob Sandstone. So he named himself after the town that he was living in. And we've got to put a headstone on one old bloke who joined, um, was given a service number, and then um, after a few weeks he was discharged, and the reasons why, and this is in his record, because he wasn't of sufficient European um, blood. There's just a few of the reasons, the reasons why we decided to do a service, to honour them, put a headstone on their grave, and to um, honour them with a service for the service they gave to us. Just this year, the amount of people that have been ringing me up to go and do talks, to let the organisations, the businesses, our schools, um, what the Aboriginal veterans had done during those days, it's really um, getting out there and there seems to be a really um, huge effort to recognise the service that Aboriginal veterans have done. When you see what it means to the families, um, the pride, the hurt um, and the, in, you know, you can see all these things all happen in the one and a half hours that it takes for this service what it means to the families and even to the people who come along and take part. That sort of thing to me, people say, you know, you must be a millionaire if you were doing this for pay. And I said, well, I feel I am a millionaire because when I look at what I've done, being able to achieve over this, these years, the amount of lives that I've touched um, and helped these families move on, closure for them, I said, um, that's something you can't buy with money. Yeah, it's been a battle, but um, when you look at the results, um, it's well worthwhile. Well, yeah, everything's been, it's been a special journey, actually.